Thaddeus Thaddeus here, and we got some important information from Darth Microtransaction. I haven't even seen this yet, so this is news for me. He apparently lost hundreds of hours, and he's going to save us so we don't make this mistake when playing Diablo 4. Don't do it! Second time, and explain to the earlier former myself who was just starting the game, if I had a time machine, I would go back in time and explain to the earlier former myself who was just starting the game to not make the mistake that I'm the earlier former myself. I like the way Darth explains that. Okay, Darth, what mistake did the earlier former yourself make? I'm about to explain to you today. Okay. 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 This is easily the most annoying thing wow. that I realized later game and okay. was frustrating because it's costing me an absolute ton of time. Wow. Now, what, what am I talking about? Yeah, what? I'm of course referring to when you have legendary aspects yeah. and you imprint them yes. from an aspect that you extract from another item. Yes. Okay, so for the people who don't follow what he's saying, basically you find legendary equipment, right? Let's say you're level, just for example, you're level 20, you get a legendary item. When you turn level 30, that legendary item is not going to be of use to you. But what this aspect system is about, you can take that baby legendary item, take all the magical properties and all that, and store it. Basically, it's called an aspect. And then when you're a higher level, you can then take that legendary information and apply it to another weapon, and it won't be just a baby weapon anymore. You're applying it to a big fat weapon. Okay, so let's see what he says about this system it's losing hundreds of hours. It will retain the percentage value of that item. Okay. For instance, if you look at this, 180 to 260%. Yeah. Do you notice that this is imprinted with 260%? That is because I found a legendary item. I extracted the aspect yeah. that was perfect. Let me okay. give you an example to try to further explain this. Okay. This is a 20 to 30% chance to gain one spirit. Yeah. This is row 29%. Okay. Now, 29% is quite a good row when you have the mm. range of 20 to 30. It's yeah, basically yeah, yeah. a 9 out of 10 quality of row. Well, if I used this imprint and decided to consume it earlier in the game when I just start, because like, oh, that's a good row. So I immediately use it on the yellow that I currently okay. have in order to get that better row on it. Or I override like a 27% row. Okay, but I don't see the lost 100 hours. Two percent better row. When I get a better item, like this one, this Ancestral Legendary 2 and Mace is the best item yeah. that I've got dropped so far. When I get a good item and I wasted that consumable, I can never go back and get that perfect roll again. And Wait, what do you mean wasted that consumable? So apparently when you take out the magic from your legendary items, it can be used once. So he wastes it, but I still don't understand the, the hundreds of hours wasted. I mean, there, there are types that you can use more than once, but the hundred hours. Darth, where did you waste a hundred hours? Unless I get another perfect row drop. It is a major mistake. What I'm trying to explain is when you find an item in the wild, you're like, oh, here's this legendary item. Let me check it out. And okay. you pick it up and yeah. you say, oh, it's 40%. Just pretend this is 40%, the maximum row. Oh my God, it is 40%. It's a perfect row. Yeah. Do not immediately then place that onto whatever item you have. Wait for your next big upgrade because you cannot re-extract legendary aspects that you haven't printed. I can never again use this 260% row on another item unless I get another additional 260%. And the reason this is this way. I, I don't know. I'm not exactly following this. Maybe it's just early in the morning. But um, what are you saying, Darth? Explain it again. It's because the collection in the Codex of Power always row the minimum stat. So what? there is no other way to get the maximum row of a legendary aspect oh unless God. you actually extract it from a wild drop like this in the wild. You have to okay. pick up a legendary drop that you got out there farming. Mm -hmm. You have to extract it, and it has to be the perfect row, meaning only once in my entire 73 hours of playing this game wait you played for 73 hours but it said you wasted a hundred bro things aren't adding up you play for 73 hours but you wasted also oh, you're wasting future hours 
Uh, I don't know. Is it me? Drop me a comment. Am I missing something? He played for 73 hours, but he wasted 100 hours. Bro. Bro. Okay, let's just go ahead and see. May, I don't know. Let's. I have received whatever. one out of hundreds and hundreds of legendaries. That was a perfect row okay. to give you an idea. Okay. So this better damn well be the last <laughs> two-handed item I ever need, or else that will have been a major mistake for me to imprint that item. So hopefully I've explained that concept. This is easily the thing that was saving you the most time because it can literally save you hundreds of hours. I'm kind of lost. It can take you hundreds of hours but how do to we get save? the perfect legendary okay. from the perfect item for your perfect build. And okay. that for me was pulverized at 260%. That's the best item row I'll ever get. Let's go back. Let's go back. It Basically, he said he got a good roll on something. He should just use it. Instead of imprinting it on someone, because when you have the maximum roll, you extract that essence and then you apply it to another weapon. It's always going to roll lowest. Let's see. Let's go back and see if that's what he said. This way is because the collection in the Codex of Power always roll the minimum stat. Oh, he did say that. It always rolls the minimum stat. Because I see here, you got a 10% so damage there is reduction. there's no other way to get the maximum row of a legendary aspect. So, what's the wasted hours, though? So, he's basically saying, don't waste time finding another, re-imprinting it, hoping you'll get a bigger number. Just be glad, whatever you got, and just use it. I think that's what he's saying. Drop me a note. Let me know. So, Vaddy is signing out. Once again, thanks, Dark Micro Transaction, for the input. <laughs>